Paul, we'll start um, with the addition you've made to the squad this week and Regan Tumulty from Ross County. Um, one that you felt was needed due to some injuries? Yeah, I think we're a little bit short in terms of the defensive area. Uh, a little bit of cover. Um, with Paul Watson and, and Conrad injured the last couple of weeks, so we felt a little bit short there. Tony Gallagher gets injured against Dundee United, so we're definitely short in the, the sort of full-back area. He's obviously trained with you now for Thursday, Friday. How's he looked? Yeah, good. He uh, looked really sharp. He's a player that I know I saw quite a bit of. Been at Ross County. and I've seen him in development games. He's played a, a few first-team games too. So I think he'll come in. It'll be a good addition to the squad. In terms of the training this week, it's been um, for you kind of looking back on Sunday and moving forward. How's it been? Yeah, we've had a good response to the players. But only time will tell. We need a response uh, tomorrow against a difficult opponent. Um, we are all disappointed in the game last week and um, we know we can perform much better, we're, we're better than that. You know, we've, got, we've got a good squad of players here, but we all need to stay together and um, we're looking for a, a big response tomorrow. Is it important that once you do go through you know, what went wrong last week and, and look at things that that is kind of put to the back of minds and it's all focused now on moving forward with Morton? Yeah, I think um, you've got to just move on to the next game. Um, know the mistakes that you made, the goals that you conceded, um, Overall, um, it was a, it was a poor display, but you can't dwell on it. We've got another tough fixture coming up, so we've had to move on pretty quickly to get the players ready and organised for for tomorrow. You were out at East End Park on, on Tuesday to watch Morton against Inverlon. Is it a good kind of ninety minutes for you to understand a bit more about them? Yeah, but I think that the shape of the team may change. Um, they played in a certain way the other night, so we've just got to be ready for whatever they whatever they play tomorrow. Um, we've worked on a few things this week and um, you know it's about being positive tomorrow, um, being on the front foot, set the tone early, um, start with a good tempo with the game. But they know they're a threat, they've got good players there and um, we must make sure that, that we're well organised, we, we defend properly and that we attack properly. One thing that the boys in the dressing room do have is that the fact that they have beaten Morton already this year. Does that come into play at all in kind of mindsets or looking back on how things went that day? It's a good omen. Hopefully we can carry that out uh, tomorrow, but we'll need to be at our best and um, we'll need to perform much better than we did last week. I saw good signs this week in training, so you know, hopefully the players can carry that out tomorrow. Just finally, how's the squad as a whole looking ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, we've got a few doubts, um, especially defensively. Um, Joe McKee's a doubt in, in the middle of the park. So, you know, we're running with quite a thin squad tomorrow, but you know, a, a squad that's good enough to go and win. Well, that's what we do and we'll catch up with you after the game.